Back on the David Pakman Show, giving away an iPad in just minutes, Lewis, and several new David Pakman Show members I want to say hello to. Scott Roth, as well as Roy Padrick, both new friends, new family members of the David Pakman Show, progressive mafia, so to speak. For lack of a better term, I think is, is what I mean. Mm-hmm. Also, for people who ask me, how else other than becoming a member can I help support the David Pakman Show? Log on to davidpackman.com, click the Amazon banner on the right side of the site, and bookmark that page. And in the future, whenever you use Amazon to get whatever it is you use Amazon for, um, use that link, use that bookmark, and you'll also be helping to support The David Pakman Show. Over hundreds of items, Lewis, purchased through that link over the last week, and really going a long way to help support the show. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Rod Blagojevich, guilty on 17 of 20 counts. This, of course, revolving around the conspiracy to sell President Barack Obama's prior Senate seat from Illinois. And Blagojevich said, frankly, he was stunned. Let's take a listen to exactly what he said. Well, forgive me. I hate interrupting you, but take a look at your TV screen. We are seeing, or we just saw, the the cameras fixated on former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich with with his wife, Patty, presumably walking outside of that courtroom. We know that he was found guilty on 17 of those 20 uh, charges he's been facing. It looks like he is uh, clearly surrounded by a crush of media. Let's see if he will speak. Looks like he is. Do we have audio? Uh, try to speak a little bit less, so I'm going to keep my remarks kind of short. Patty and I obviously are very disappointed uh, in the outcome. I frankly am, am stunned. Um, there's not much left to say other than uh, we want to get home to our little girls and, uh, and, and talk to them and explain things to them. and and then try to sort things out. Um, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you guys again. All right, so not taking any questions that uh, that I was able to find there. And he's stunned because he really thought he was going to be able to fleece the jury into thinking he did absolutely nothing wrong. And I guess he's, he's stunned that he wasn't able to do that. I don't know what else to think. He faces a maximum penalty of over 200 years in prison. Now, as the verdict came down, pundits were quickly pointing out that Judge James Zagel will have to follow the federal sentencing guidelines, which leaves most to assume that Blagojevich will get somewhere around seven to ten years. However, I want to propose that he may get a lot more. And what I would point to is that people expected uh, Bernie Madoff to get ten years, roughly. That was the consensus after his conviction, but before his sentencing. He got 150 years, and I think that this is obviously every judge is different, but I think that going forward with a lot of these corruption type fraud, white collar crimes, I think that the Madoff sentence has opened the door to longer sentences for corruption scams. Right. I hope so. You think he should go for longer than the seven to 10 years he's expected to get? Yeah. Why not? Well, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't deserve it. I mean, I, I can't pick a number that I think is fair. I mean, I just think 7 to 10 seems a little low. Are you surprised by this verdict? No. I'm not either. I mean, it just seems like when it, I, I, every time that we just are going by what we see on television and in the media, I always am hesitant to as, uh, assess guilt or innocence. However, there was such a preponderance of evidence along with recordings and so many other things. And Blagojevich's behavior was just so bizarre mm-hmm. between the, the reality shows and the very loud calls and predictions of vindication. I'm not surprised at all. I'm surprised he's only I'm surprised he's that stunned if he's telling the truth about it. Right. 